recorded. See, in your enterprise application, enterprise application will be deployed on multi-node environment. Multi-node environment means your application will be deployed on multiple servers. Multi-node environment. So this is application server, app server one. And the other one is app server two. And this is app server three. Like this, on multiple servers, your application will be deployed. Okay, now your application is running on how many servers and number of servers. So as a user, as a requester, whenever you are going to hit the server, hit the application. So you are a requester. You're going to make a request like you say, like just let me remove this. You have multiple requesters. Requester one, requester two, requester three, requester four. Okay, so these are the requesters. This is R1, R2, R3, R4. Let's say this is a flip card application which is deployed on which is deployed on multiple application servers. Now everyone is going to type the same URL, right? So they will type a URL. Let's say the what is the URL? www dot Flipkart. Everyone is going to type the same URL. When they type the URL, so the request will be sent to Flipkart application server. It will not be directly sent to application server immediately. There will be many things in between, but one of those we are going to talk about is another server called load balancing server. So in between, we will be having one more server. This is called web server. This is this is load balancing server. As the name says, you can tell me what do you mean by load balancing server? What is the use of load balancing server? Sorry, what is that? Distribute. The load means distribute the in input requests that are coming to the actual application server to different servers to manage the load on each server. Now four requesters are using Flipkart application given time. So now this requester will be redirected to app server one. Now this request will land on to app server one. Flipkart application that you are using is from app server one. What about the second one? Second one as to balance the load, it will go to app server two and the third request will go to app server three and the fourth one will be balanced on to app server four. Next request will go to next server. Like this, if you have 10, uh, let's say 9,000 requesters, 3000 on server 1, 3000 on server 2, 3000 on server 3, like this, load will be maintained by using load balancing server. That is the web server. That is the purpose of load balancing server. Now, in enterprise application, you will you'll not be having only one server for your application. Your application will be deployed on multiple nodes. This is clear. Now, when the data page is of scope node type, uh, with node, uh, node scope is available, that page will be available to be shared across multiple requesters of same node who are on the same node. That means today if a requester login, he is landing onto app server one. Okay, when app server one is requesting for a database for the first time it will be created. So next requester has logged in. When the next requester log in, the request land onto app server two. For him, is the data page going to get created or data page will be shared? created it will get created because the database which is already available for with node scope is not available on app server 2 it is available on app server 1 between hardware it cannot share between different jvms okay that is how system is designed we are busy so suppose if third requester land onto app server 1 let's say third requester land onto app server 1 for him also he is accessing the same database he is requesting for same database now database will be created or shared Database will get shared because database is already created on that server by some other requester. So if your database is of scope node level means it will be available for sharing across multiple requesters who are on the same node, same application server. This is clear everyone. This is about node level database. 
नोट्स को डेटा पेज 